I can tell you we have been at a point right now where we are not only really able to service our debt, but every revenue we generate, almost about 99% of them will go to servicing the existing and new debts that the government is actually uh, trying to bring in. And what it would then mean with that uh, Nigeria would then be like a man, forgive that analogy, that leaves some hand to mouth, nothing to save. And that is very, very risky for an economy. So what we have going on at the moment are some form of reforms that are actually helping. If you check our debt uh, deficit at the moment, uh, it has actually improved. Uh, as at the end of uh, 2023, we were at about 6 point something debt to GDP ratio. Right now, it has actually improved. We are at about 4.4 thereabout. Uh, if you look at foreign reserve as well, it has actually gone up as well. If you check the end of 2023, we were at about uh, 32 there about billion US dollars. If you check it today, as of the middle of October, we're at about 38.8 uh, billion US dollars. Yet it might not make sense to the common man on the street. But I can tell you that uh, the only way it will make sense to them is in the long run, which might take a longer time. So for now, the least the government can do is actually try to see how you can bring up social interventions program to actually help people uh, deal with the uh, the impact of uh, the yeah, the negative sides of the ongoing reforms at the moment, and that's what government is doing. Okay, that, now, now l l let's uh, take this uh, particular story, then we continue our conversation. Now, the International Monetary Fund on Tuesday maintained its 2024 projection for the global economy as inflation continues to moderate, although a high degree of uncertainty uh, surrounds the out, uh, world outlook.